It's the day before the big 3040 update in LEGO Fortnite and we just got the patch notes. We already knew that it was going to be a fast travel update, but here are the details that you want to know about. The Battle Bus Fast Travel Network is ready for operation in your world. You will find bus stations already placed in your world after the update tomorrow. And you can destroy these bus stations for rift shards and then rebuild them elsewhere. I'm not sure we'll find these rift shards elsewhere, but I imagine we will. The bus stations will allow you to call the Battle Bus to go to different bus stations. You can get from a village to your favorite mining spot in seconds. We were also told that you're going to be able to change your world settings. Every setting except your mode and player elimination will be able to be changed. I kind of wish we could turn friendly fire on and off. This does not apply to locked settings and expert mode. If you turn off enemies including the storm wild enemies, the existing ones will remain until you defeat them or leave the area. If you turned off friendly creatures or villagers, the existing ones will remain until you leave the area. After this update, you'll be able to turn off hunger, or you can turn on stronger foes, turn on storm wild enemies, and play the way you want to play it. There's new toys in the update. They've added a pressure plate and a trigger plate. The pressure plate you have to stand on or touch, basically, to keep it activated. And that will fire off thrusters or make balloons appear. The trigger plate you can touch and walk away from. And it will turn on thrusters or activate balloons. But thrusters will turn off eventually. You'll just need to add blast powder to your inventory to get the trigger plate. The activated balloons are also new. And there's a small and large version. They accidentally left these in the last update, but they took them out shortly after. You'll be able to unlock these recipes by crafting a loop. There's a new build set coming tomorrow, and this look really great. It's another castle set, of course, but it's the Pirate Lifestyle Bundle. The bundle will cost a thousand V-Bucks and includes several build sets plus a decor bundle. You can also buy them separately. Major improvements and adjustments. There's going to be a new kart racer build and a new off-road flyer. Hmm, that sounds familiar. I wonder if they just copied my design. You can go check out that video on my channel, but I bet theirs will be a little more sturdy. There's going to be a new codex. Things you find will appear in your codex. Get information on what you've discovered, get hints on what you haven't, and track recipes you're working on. This does sound interesting, and it sounds like you're going to get recipes in parts now. There's a lot of map improvements included, and these are going to be great. We've really needed these, especially when playing with friends. You can zoom out much further in your world map and pan across your entire world. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, LEGO. When using a controller, like me, you'll have a virtual cursor to control the map with. You can ping the map, which will drop a marker in the world to help with your travels. And it'll also help your friends find things too. This is also going to be great. UI updates. Always wanted to carry more stuff? Version 3040 increases your inventory to 32 slots. I think we have 24 now. This is going to be great. We're going to have a lot of extra slots to carry all the extra items they keep adding to the game. Filter items in the build menu by theme or set to quickly find what you're looking for. No way, this is awesome. So right now, if you're working on, say, a Moss Isley build and you just want all the Moss Isley build parts, this is going to let you filter by that. This is also something we've been asking for a lot. Name your worlds and villages, whatever you like. This is going to be great also. This way, when we have a community village, we can name them after ourselves and then we'll know whose village that is. You're supposed to follow the Epic Games community rules, so you're going to have to keep those family friendly, we're guessing. They also added some new LEGO styles, including Indiana Jones, Ember, the Cube Queen, Athea, and Abyss. There's usually more than this, so maybe they're just giving out some of the better ones. So the interesting part in all of this is they did not mention Clombo. They also often add new villagers, and they have left those out of these notes several times. So what are you looking forward to the most? I'm really looking forward to the new build sets, but really those map improvements, the, the new vehicles will be great. There, there's so much here, the UI updates. There's so much stuff here that's going to be great. Of course, the new toys are always going to be fun, and just seeing what people in the community do with this is going to be amazing. There's a lot of great updates coming, especially the fast travel. And I really do expect to see Clombo very soon, because he was on the roadmap for July and August, and we're already into August. We're hoping for another update, maybe in a week or two. But for now, this is going to keep us very happy and give us a lot of new stuff to do. I'm going to be live streaming early tomorrow morning to check all this out, so please join me on my channel on YouTube. Thank you. Uh.